Hello and welcome back to Big Bad Bard Plays Enter the Gungeon. I, uh, <laughs> been recording for a second and just realized that my mic was off. So we're going to take the robot out for this run. And, um, we just looked and saw we need 18 hollow points. Um, we may very well be able to get that on this run. I feel like the first couple of floors are very heavy with those enemies. So it's likely that we will see several of them. We will try to get down to the Abbey of the True Gun, so that means we'll have to take a detour through the Oubliette. <clears throat> and beyond that, uh, we know that Taylor needs some stuff for the elevator on the fourth floor. He's looking for keys, and he's looking for money. And he's looking for a lot of both. Oh, I wish that hadn't dropped on me right there. That's okay. It may end up, uh, causing the shop to not spawn a key. And that's, um, that's unfortunate. With the robot, I feel like we have a pretty good shot at getting the elevator request fulfilled. We don't need as many keys. Um, we're, I'm, I'm okay with breaking these chests, um, in hopes of finding junk, basically. It makes the robot's right hand stronger. And we do have a secret room right here. Ooh, get some armor back. And free chests like this I will open. I don't see a reason not to. Um, yeah, we could break them, maybe get junk. But at the same time, if those are the only chests we're going to be opening, we might as well take the benefit of them. Unfortunately, the first two free chests we've gotten have both been a little lackluster. Um, they have both provided a key, so that's helpful in meeting our goal of five keys by the fourth floor and we are going to try to be saving money so we don't necessarily want to buy keys unless absolutely necessary or unless we've got more than enough money right now we're sitting at three keys um, gonna need two of those for the oubliette but that does open up the possibility of a whole nother floor for keys to drop on and then, um, obviously, you're going to earn more money than you need to buy a key on any given floor. So even if we have to buy a key, we should still end up net positive on our money income for that floor. Thing is, we need a lot to, to meet the elevator request. I think it's 240. Now, going down to the Oubliette does increase the amount of money we're going to be picking up as well. So the shop has nothing we're interested in. I would have bought a key on this floor, that would have been pretty nice. Um, they're fairly cheap. Oh, Ring of Chest Friendship. Could be n really good. Uh, Ring of Mimic, Mimic Friendship I'm not interested in. The Ring of Chest Friendship increases your chances of getting chest drops. So I am going to take that. It's weird. I know. But chest drops, um, sometimes they're unlocked. Sometimes you break them and they drop keys or money. Sometimes you break them and they drop junk or Sir Junkin. These are all things we're looking for. Sometimes you break them and they drop health. And I don't mean armor, I mean red hearts. <laughs> um, and that's obviously not what we're going to be looking for. Now I believe it does play off of your coolness stat. Or maybe it just increases your coolness stat. And I'm not really sure what all affects that. I know there are several items, um, and then not getting hit throughout the floor increases your coolness as well. Oh, we picked up the map, which is basically useless right now. Um, <laughs> we found our fireplace room at least. And water barrel is right here. If it wasn't, I was just going to use the coolant leak to put that out. Instead, we can use the coolant leak here to kind of beat up on the trigger twins a little bit. Just let me stay safe from these bullets. We do have one blank to work with. We found, or we found the secret room using one, so we've got just one left. Uh, hopefully, we 
don't require more than that. Alright, so it looks like Shades is taking a lot of damage over there from the electrocution. I'm a fan. Almost done with one of them. Okay. Shades is down. Now we're just fighting Smiley. Wait until the very end of that little bullet chain to dodge roll. Makes it so the bullets don't kind of whip around and hit you. Okay, and we got the Pox Cannon. I think I talked about this gun in the last episode. Uh, it's basically the T-Shirt Cannon, except it poison. Yeah, souped-up T-Shirt Cannon fires tainted apparel. It poisons enemies. And let's actually look at the description for the Ring of Chest Friendship. Chest Friends Forever. Increases the chance of finding chests. This ring was first given to Winchester, largely due to a naming mix-up. With little use for treasure, Winchester eventually gave it away as a prize in one of his strange games. Okay. So we're going to the Oubliette so we can go to the Abbey so that we have a better chance of running into these NPCs that I'm pretty sure only show up in the Abbey of the True Gun. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's the only place they show up. Now, I've been to the Abbey a few times and not seen anyone. Um, but that's that's just how this game goes sometimes. You're not guaranteed to run into an NPC on every run. At least I don't think you are. You know, as long as there are still some to, to find. And it's also possible maybe they would have shown up on some of the runs that we didn't make it down to the Abbey. That's a very likely as well. Okay. These guys aren't too bad. Not seeing as many hollow points as I expected to. There were only a couple on the first floor. I think we, there was a room that spawned two of them. That might have been it. Uh, we do not need to run through that trap, thankfully. I'm a little disappointed. I would have liked to see more. Maybe, uh... Maybe they'll give us some on this floor and the next one. And I know they can show up later in the gungeon as well. I think on the 4th or 5th floor. I don't think they show up in bullet hell, but I could be wrong about that. Now I'm expecting a mushroom to spawn in the middle of the room here. No? Okay. I feel like sometimes on that room... Actually, I feel like usually on that room a mushroom will spawn. It's weird. Did take a hit there, but we're still walking around with a little more health than usual. Or at least a little more health than we started with. Um, not the secret room, I don't think. Let me just double check with a real gun. Okay. And back to the robot's right hand. These enemies are very easy. Nice to deal with. This guy, a little trickier. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, we don't have any keys, and we're not going to open any of these chests. I'm mostly just looking for junk. Junk, armor, and keys. The more they want to give me that, the happier I'll be. Alright, taking out the blob pretty easily. And the shotguns just as well. Ah, here we go. Explosions do light the floor oil on fire. Just something to note. I don't know if I've ever said it out loud on any of these runs, but it is something that happens. Oh god, get me out of that corner. <laughs> easy, easy. And another blue chest. Not really what we want. Um. Yeah, Winchester? No. I guess it could be here. It does not appear to be. Um, still haven't found the shop. And still have not found the old crest room. I'm hoping the crest room doesn't take a key. That would really 
Oh, there's a ghost. Uh, that would really <coughs> hinder our progress towards the elevator request. We do have some sort of special room here. It's a gun muncher. Anything we're looking to get rid of? Honestly, I'm not too attached to either of these, the pox cannon or the flare gun. Really, the only gun I'm looking to use is my robot's right hand. Unfinished gun is not great. Okay, so here's the old crest. Secret room? No, no secret room. Okay. That's fine. We'll find it. Or not. <laughs> Either way, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm more interested in finding the secret room on the abbey. Uh, you get that chest, or I guess at least an opportunity. There's the little guy in the chest that asks you weird questions. And we do have a key. We also have, is that, okay, regular decoy. Not interested. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a better active item. Uh, I just don't think that decoy is the one I'm looking for. So maybe something like double vision? Maybe something like elder blank? These are things I would be excited for. Okay, hearts. Yes, thank you, but unnecessary. <laughs> okay, I was waiting around the corner for the guy to get closer to the barrel, but my cube buddy did that for me. Thank you. So the boss has to be somewhere around here, right? Somewhere? Apparently not. I mean, it has to be somewhere, just not right here. Um... Yeah, I hate trying to venture across rooms like this. I like to stick around the outskirts of them, but when even those are full of bullets, it's kind of hard to move around. Okay, so here's our boss. Probably best off using the right hand still. It's Blobby Lord, per usual. Ooh, I thought I might take damage there, but I somehow managed to avoid it. Now, I just wish that the blood got electrocuted. Even if it was, you know, just a callback to Metalocalypse, Blood Dracution. Or, I think the song was called Blood Dracuted. Okay. Happy smiley bullets. They're not actually smiling, but when I see them, I see a smile. I see a smiley face. Maybe that's just because I want them to be smiling. Ugh, oh, I hate this attack. And that's why. <laughs> Maybe it's because I go to the corners that I have such a hard time. Maybe I should stick closer to the center of the wall. So I don't get stuck in a corner where they start bouncing back across at me. Oh, okay. Well, Diablo 2 fire hose. Thank you for that nostalgia. And again with the bouncy blobs. This attack's getting old, buddy. Find something else out. Get some new tricks. You can't touch me even with those old tricks. You know what? I'm not even going to kill the little blob this time. Not worth it. Um, the bomb. I don't know. Uh, I guess? I don't know if I've ever used this item successfully. But maybe this is the chance. Um, so we got plenty of money. I guess we'll go back to the shop. Get the key. And, um, use a blank. Okay, so it's not there. I don't know where the secret room's going to be. But we will come back here and grab the old crest. I wonder if it could be here? No, it doesn't appear to be. We'll grab the old crest. Just move on down to the next floor. And we gotta be careful. I like that we have an extra blank. This active item, I'm not really sure about. Um, I think it can open the secret room if you find it. So you don't have to use a blank. And I would like that. 
I'm okay with using blanks um, kind of preemptively throughout the floor as long as it means keeping the old crest safe. Once we get the old crest into place, I don't really care what happens. Um, I mean, I, I don't want to die. I just don't really care if we take a couple of bad hits, as long as it doesn't cost the run. So we do have a special room over there. Um, probably a gun muncher, possibly a secret room. Oh no, it's a... Okay. It's a chest room. Oh. So maybe I should not have done that. Whoops. Well, <laughs> I, my thought was, oh, maybe I can break the chest. I'm thinking now, the chest is unlocked, so I wouldn't have used the key anyways. And that's ultimately what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> well, we're a little bit cursed. It's not the end of the world. Oh, that's... That's really bad. Oh, I feel terrible about that one. Well, there goes the old crest. So now we really need to get the elevator taken care of. And it's just going to be that much more difficult with... Um, well, we got two keys right here and a cell creep. So that's actually... That makes it a lot easier. <laughs> we could sell... I don't think you can sell the electric bullets, but I could sell my unfinished gun and my Winchester. We've got two keys here for 30 apiece. And the Gunsling King will want to make us a wager, I'm sure. So let's see what he wants from us. So, without taking damage. Okay. Uh, as long as it's not too, uh... Too cheeky. You know, spawning a bunch of really awkward waves in a room like this. I think it's manageable. If it was something like without dodge rolling, then that's a little trickier. Ah! Wow, um... That's hard to walk away from now, isn't it? So what did we get? Junk! Oh! Hello, junk friend! You are exactly what we were looking for. Okay, I'm very pleased now. Okay, so maybe... Oh, and there's the crest room. Maybe we'll end up opening that chest? Maybe? We'll see. I guess it's possible we could end up breaking it. Hmm. Because it could give more junk. And we have a junk buddy. We have all the reason to get more junk. It increases our robot... Uh, our robot's right arm damage. It increases the level of our junk friend. Yes. I like this position very much. Yes, bring on the brown chest, please. And also thank you, but also uh, maybe something a little more better. Okay, cool. So that does work. And we got another chest over here. Uh, it's the blunderbuss. Not exactly what I want. Hmm. Well, we could sell that, get more money for keys, easy reload. Yeah, I think I'm going to sell this. Uh, there we go. And then I'm going to sell this. Do I keep the Winchester? I don't think so. I'm just... Oh, you know, I should have kept one gun to check for secret rooms. Realizing that now. That's okay. I'm gonna buy those two keys, because we still have a bunch of money. I'm in a good... I've got a good feeling about it. Still have one more chest room on this floor. Hoping we can find some junk out of it. Um, or, I think the rainbow chests are unlocked always, so I guess I would take that. As long as we don't have to spend a key. Okay. None too shabby, my junk friend. Okay, we've got the boss fight. I'm not concerned with that. And a blue chest is... Well, a blank isn't really what I wanted. 
but I guess it's better than a red heart. It's certainly more valuable, more usable. Ah, another blue chest. Easy fodder. Aha, he got a little crest on his helmet. Wonderful. I enjoy it very much. Okay, no more chest there. Looks like there's another path this way. You know, they keep dropping chests, so they could also drop keys. And that would be appreciated as well. Keys and more money. It's what we're looking for here. We've got two floors after this one. Um, so a little over two floors, I guess. Two floors and a couple rooms. To come across two more keys and 116 more money. I'd say that's manageable. Okay. I think I'm going to break this. It hurts me a little bit. Oh, especially... Especially to see the heart. It's too bad. Okay, Amoconda. Oh, the... There goes the flawless. That's alright. <laughs> That was my brain breaking. Duh! Duh! <laughs> Could not form words or thoughts. Oh, he's healing. I don't like that. Oh, you knave. Back off. Almost have my bomb back up. Unfortunately, he was able to get that one. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill this one in the middle either. Oh, uh, oh no, no. I was going to complain about only being one hit away from a flawless, but I did get hit twice. So I cannot complain that badly. Avoid a marshal. Okay. Now we did find the secret room. Yeah, I believe that was it right there. Um, was there anything in the shop? I don't think so. No. We got plenty of value out of the cell creep. Just by virtue of selling all the guns that we're not going to be using. That jumped us a little bit forward in the in the key game. Chamber 3. Just got two more chests on this floor at our disposal for uh, junk manufacturing purposes. Let's see if that's... I don't think that's going to hit him. No. Uh, guaranteed two, two uh, chests. Uh, not guaranteed two junk. But it's also very likely that we'll get more than two chests. Thanks to that uh, little acquisition earlier in the game in the form of the Ring of Chest Friendship. I'm so glad that the uh, Gunsling King rewarded us so. I feel like normally it just gives me Alien Engine. And I can't complain because I didn't really do anything too spectacular for it. Usually his challenges aren't that difficult. Um, but Sir Junkin is much more valuable to my team <laughs> than, say, the alien engine. <laughs> Take Junk Knight every day. Okay. I'm stuck in a corner. Ah, Junk Friend. You are my hero. You are my savior. You are the wind beneath my robot wings. Okay. Oh, Mimic. See, and this is why I'm glad I didn't take the... Uh, what was it? The Mimic Friendship? Yeah. Look at that. Ballistic Boots. I like the Mimics. I know it's not junk. I think it's better. It's a free, real item. 
as opposed to just a free slight upgrade or a chance for a free slight upgrade. I'll take a mimic. I mean, I I'll I'll take the mimic tooth necklace pretty much every time I see it if it's early enough in the game. I've picked it up on the first floor once and basically never needed keys except for the odd uh, NPC room that was locked. It's a wonderful item. I don't think it's unlocked on this save file just yet. It's, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's associated with one of the hunts. That's what I'm saying, though. The hunts are great for unlocking new items. Every single one is a vast improvement on the Gungeon, in general. I, I don't think there's one that is disappointing where it's like, oh, well, maybe the first one? I'm trying to think of what the first one... No, the first one gives you the sling. The sling is a wonderful weapon. It can carry you through most boss fights. Oh, come on, Junkin. He's right there. I know I said I would take the free chest. Maybe I... Yeah, I will. It's... I wish I hadn't. <laughs> I really wish I hadn't. That's not at all what I was looking for. Junk. Give me junk? No junk. Um, trying to pull out the Void Marshal here. No cracks in the walls. Okay. No cracks? No worries. Just move right along. Now at a certain point, the uh, robot's right hand damage might kind of fall off um, if we're not finding any more junk. At a certain point, I'm sure it will just kind of fall off in terms of percent damage to enemies, how much damage I'm doing per shot. So this is interesting. Uh, you think the game knows what I'm trying to do? We have Gun Muncher and... One gun I'm not interested in at all. And one gun that is lever. Take it. Um, take it or leave it, I guess. I'm gonna get one of these. I am, uh... Oh, shoot. Okay. So I am gonna buy one key. Then we just need... 90 money? Is that correct? It was 240, I believe. Yeah, 240 and 5 keys. So, not too far away. And we're not quite to the end of this floor yet. So there's time. Oh! Oh! Come on! Got it. Okay, so there's the fifth key. No longer need to buy any. Alright, so this request is just about taken care of. All that needs to happen is picking up a little bit more cash, and then just getting down there. Okay, we still have a few more rooms, which I'm looking at, just a few more chances to make the couple of bucks we need on this. Oh, so scary. I hate this room so much. The shotgun guys, when when they get into the minecart, can cause a lot of troubles. At least for me. Especially when one's in the minecart and one is uh, kind of on the other side of the room. Just gets tricky. Thank you, friend. So much value from the gunsling king. Okay, green chest, not too concerned with, um, I would have liked a little bit more than that though. Bullet bats, no concern of mine. So, uh, I almost feel like I'm kind of in autopilot mode right here, I'm just kind of sweeping through everything. 
Almost like these enemies just, uh, they don't have what it takes to stop me, slow me down even. Forget stopping me, they're barely slowing me. Oh, see, that's not what I need though, in my life. Okay, so, little low on armor, I need to stop getting hit. At the very least, until we deliver this, uh, this shipment of keys and money to our friend in the next floor. Uh, what do I want for the boss? I guess Void Marshal, or maybe I'll end up taking the robot's right hand back out. I'm gonna blank there just to stay safe. Really, just kind of melting his HP. Oh, hello. Alright, oh, okay. <laughs> safe. Oh no, I really thought I was between those two bullets. Okay, he's moving towards me. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my distance now. And blank basically whenever I start to even feel threatened. Okay, not quite the flawless. Found another key. We did get some armor. And the rectangler. Ooh. I actually really like this gun. Um, Void Marshal. Just checking for the secret room. We do have one more blank, so let's check the shop. No, nothing off of the shop. Um, really, the only weapon I would get rid of is uh, out of the gun muncher is the uh, Mega Dowser. Although the Void Marshal is kind of low on ammo. Maybe I could dump it and the Mega Dowser for something new. And then we've got the Rectangler for stuff like the bosses. So let's try that. See how that works out for us. Come on, not the Clob or the Pea Shooter. <laughs> Give me a real gun. It's the Derringer. It is barely a real gun. Okay, well. I tried. Do you have one extra key? but we're not quite there on the money front yet. But that's almost guaranteed by the end of this floor. Something really weird would have to happen for us to not have enough money um, by the end of this floor to give it to Taylor. Okay. Just gotta take it a little slow. Easy enough. Okay. Uh... So I actually don't like these guys following me. Usually I try to leave them until the end of the room. Um, they're kind of freaking me out. Alright, come on, Junkin, get in there. Do your dirty deeds. Alright. Just down to the last couple enemies. It's a big room. And, of course, death shows up right away to deal with us. Please leave me alone, death. I'm in full swing here. Oh, this was not the room I thought it was at first. I thought it was the room with the little zombie bullets that'll crawl up out of the ground. Um, I am not missing any ammo. I've been getting rid of all of my guns, so I'm not surprised I'm not missing ammo for anything. Uh, blank that. <laughs> blank all of you. Uh, <laughs> I would really like to avoid using another blank here, but I may have to. It's pretty dire. Okay. Just need 22 more money. That's it. That's all I'm asking for. Um, I'm not happy that the guy over there is summoning. I feel like it's kind of cheating. Get that mess out of my face. Okay. <laughs> oh, this guy could drop money. 
I hope he does. He can drop a lot of money. Ah! Oh, princess, why are you barking? Who are you mad at? Okay, goodbye. She just had to come in and say hello. Okay, 211. Very nearly there. We did find some more junk. I like it. Was it 210 or 240? Let me double check. Now I'm second guessing. 240 and 5 keys. So close. I thought it was 210 for a moment. 240. So I, I don't want to fight the boss just yet. Um, one hit from death on the fourth floor. Any boss could easily bring me to my knees there. Aha! I was a little worried the ice block would swing up and hit me, but I took the risk anyways. Now with any luck, I will just find a cell creep in the shop. <laughs> That's really what I'm kind of hoping for, and then I'll just sell something. I'll sell the Derringer. <gasps> no, 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 no. Okay. Panic blank there, but it saved the run. So, very useful panic blank. Okay. <laughs> I'm very nervous here. I don't know why Junkin is not fighting. There we go. Get in there. Smack it around. Hit it like it owes us money. Because that's basically what we're looking for here. Give me some money. Give me some money. Busting out some spinal tap. Okay. 16 more money. That's a mimic. I realized that as soon as I shot out the bullet. What will you drop for me, mimic friend? You're not my friend. I'm not interested in being friends with the stinking mimic. He gave us the barrel, though. That's kind of cool. Um, no secret room? No. Okay. Still need 16. Okay, there, there are still a few rooms up to the top of this floor as well. So that makes me feel a little bit better. I would hate it if we walked out of this floor with 239 credits. Something like that. That would just be terrible. And now that I've said it, it will come to fruition, I'm sure. But if they keep throwing big enemies at me like this gun nut here, uh, I feel like that gives me a way better chance to catch up to the gap that I'm sitting at. Okay, we got a cell key. That's always interesting. It's probably the ledge goblin. She should be down to the fourth chamber by now. Six more credits. Six more credits. Oh, what was that nonsense? Thank goodness I have lightning fast dodges. That one time. Or that would have been really troubling. Alright, so this skeleton can go right to hell. Uh, you can go right to hell. I'm not interested in what you're selling, buddy. Ah, oh, yes! Attack! Attack! Ah, oh, 243. Let's do this. Taylor, take this shit. Yes, take it all. Special order time, 20 hegemony credits. We have 9. So, um, definitely not on this run, but maybe on the next run. Uh, actually, should definitely happen by the next run, even if we don't pick up any more on this run. Um, uh, I don't know if we'd be able to pick up 11. I guess there's still a couple bosses. There's still two bosses that will drop credits on this run. Just a matter of beating them and getting those credits. The dragon usually drops four or five, though, so that's a pretty good chunk of what we're missing. Extra blank, much appreciated. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna blow it up anyways. 
No harm, no foul. Not a secret room. Ah. Okay, so I don't care about any of those, I guess. Is what I'm seeing. Yeah, I don't care about any of those. Heart Locket is basically just another piece of armor. Um, and then the other two I don't think work with the robot. <laughs> Maybe the Ring of Chest Anatomy. Um, but I think that kind of counteracts what we're going for. Uh, did he just blank for me? I'm pretty sure he did. I'm pretty sure my ro my junk friend is my superhero. Attack, buddy. Get these fools. Okay, we have the shop. Uh, no money. But we found the shop. Ah! But the cell room. Yes. Ah, yes. It is the Lutch Goblin. Okay, I get it. You're just a jerk. That's the only explanation. I keep having to get my helmet and wind up here locked up. And then you just get let me out. So you can kick the helmet again. This is madness. Talk to me in the breach next time you're there and watch your damn feet. I guess I'll see you later. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Catch you later. See you in the breach. Later. That's when I'll catch you. Later. Okay. <laughs> uh, big room. A lot of silly little bullet. And death. Oh, and a jammed silly little bullet. You gotta go, friend. Oh my god, he jumped right in front of it. And blanked. What a champ. MVP over here. Alright, so what are you going to do for me in the boss fight, then? Rectangler for sure on these guys. Oh! Oh! He's a madman. Oh! I'm the worst. I, uh... think I dodge rolled and got hit by the explo- Oh! He's a madman! <laughs> I think I dodge rolled and got hit by the explosion of my bomb and then that knocked me back into the back row of bullets there if I had to guess that's that's what I think happened I, I don't have any other maybe I just moved into the back of it and it had nothing to do with my bomb placement and I'm just bad in a different way I guess that's possible so Sir Junkin sacrificed his life for me right there um and now he's just gone sad Thank you, friend. Lost, never forgotten. So yeah, the Rectangler is just tearing through these guys. If you ignore the fact that I got hit like a punk. Um. Okay. Okay, kill pillars almost down. Not really been talking this boss fight, just trying not to die. And actually, I'm in a much better place. Um, thanks to Sir Junkin. I, I really appreciate his sacrifice there. Now I'm back up to. I'm up to seven armor. Before our friend sacrificed himself, I was at one armor. <laughs> Made that boss fight just possible. I will miss you, friend. So we have 12 hegemony credits. We need 20 for the elevator. Definitely next run. We should be able to get it. 8 by the first fourth floor versus 11 by the fourth floor. Sounds a lot more doable. And down to the forge. Uh, this room looks easy enough, I guess. I'm just kind of move out of the way of their bullets. Okay. Yeah, that's probably the hardest enemy on this room. Out of th the three they gave me. Okay. This punk. This damn room right there. Actually a lot easier thanks to the speed upgrade we found earlier. And those ballistic boots. Oh. So yeah, thank you Mimic for that. 
Oh, sad. Uh, now, interesting note, we do still keep all of our junk, so that means the damage upgrade on our robot's right arm should still be there. So, I'm gonna, I guess, keep going with that mindset. Got another gun muncher, Tangler, Derringer, Barrel, Makarov. I don't know, we'll get rid of the Derringer and the Makarov. I'm never using these guns, that's the thing. <laughs> I don't need to use them. The game has given me all the things I need already. It's given me an extra life. How often does that happen in this game? Almost never. Basically almost never. There's only a couple of chances. And I know that he doesn't do that at every rank, so that means we had to find enough junk and Sir Junkin. And, and really, the junk was the easy part. That was way predetermined. That was going to be a priority anyways, just not opening chests. Due to the nature of this character and what was trying to be accomplished. Unfortunately, what was trying to be accomplished didn't... Or no, 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 it happened. It was the... I was thinking the Abbey of the True Gun did not actually happen. Oh, goodness. Get out of my face, Mr. Revolvenant. Or Mrs. Revolvenant. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Maybe some of them are male and some of them are female and some of them are neither or both. Who knows? They're not really, uh... You know, thinking about it, how, how could bullets even have gender? I mean, but this is a weird world. We're guns probably could procreate I don't know you never know although there aren't really any like obviously um uh, hmm yeah they're all kind of um just androgynous or robotic or bull ro ro bullet ro bullet Rubidon prototype icebreaker pass I don't have any money anyways I don't know why I'm looking like I've got cash to spend. We gave all of our money to our friend in the last floor. It'll be worth it in the end. We still need to get money to Taylor and, uh, and I think the third floor flawless. I don't think we picked that up yet. At least not since we started doing these runs. And, and by these runs, I mean the, um, the fourth floor elevator runs looking for stuff for him oh wow it's just wave after wave of bullets just intersecting interlocking crisscrossing um I'll open it first one in a long time and it gave us a great passive wow could not have asked for much better I know it's a damage up against bosses if it's not a damage up all the time, then it's a damage up against bosses. So that's helpful. Uh, chances of killing the dragon this run? Say, pretty high. Relatively good. Chances of killing the lich or this... Chances of killing the lich this run? I would say drastically worse since we lost Sir Junkin. Uh, with him, especially with his free re uh, revive, the lich would almost be... I wouldn't say trivial, but almost 100% uh, chance to win that one. Because we're not weak. We we do have, um, what guns do we have that we're rocking? Rectangular? Uh, if we still and you know have ammo for that by the time we get down to the Lich, that's definitely going to be a weapon we're using. And then with all this junk, the robot's right hand is still doing pretty well. Even this late in the game. Now I am having to use several bullets to kill enemies, but it's not so bad that I feel like enemies are stacking up on me. And, you know, definitely in cases like this, you know, room sit, uh, layouts like that where it's very easy to take the enemies on one by one, uh, I don't mind using the robot's right hand at all. Okay, I just need to kind of get a clear shot across this room, somewhere where I can hide. 
um, but then pop around the side when when these bullets come flying. Oh, I have not noticed any red caped bullets. Not not on this run. And maybe you have, and uh, all you can think is, oh man, he's so dumb. He keeps killing them, he doesn't even see them anymore. I almost feel like... Uh, part of me feels like I should stop looking and just, when I see them, or when I notice them, try to keep them safe. But every time I notice them, they die in some spectacularly stupid way that I never could have protected them from. Oh, an enemy broke open a poison barrel as soon as they spawned. You know, Red Bullet can should probably not walk right through that poison barrel. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. So we got the, uh, we got a black chest right there. Do you have a key? I want your key. Yeah, you got a key. I'm, I'm just curious. We did what we needed to do. We got the R2G2, just unlocked this for uh, the thir third floor elevator, I believe. Companion fires upon foes. Man, if we could have had this and Sir Junkin just tearing it up, that would have been great. Alright, Dragon. Uh, rectangular, I guess, barrel as a backup. And yeah, it. The Rectangler does pretty good damage, but then it, the fact that it also increases the hitbox on enemies, super valuable. Super valuable. Oh, there goes, uh, I guess a Flawless, but I'm not too worried about that. Just blank that attack. It's usually trouble. Oh, so he just throws it right back at me again. That's super cool, dude. Super cool. Um, am I gonna have to blank again? I believe so. <laughs> okay, so that's all the blanks. Dragon is taking hits. R2G2's up there. Just throwing in, throwing in shots. Ah, one hit from death. Makes me nervous though. Okay. Final round. This is not too bad. I can get through this without getting hit, right? Haha, -ha, that was that was the test right there. I needed the nerve to to stand in that little spot knowing I wouldn't get hit to build the spirit. Die you son of a bitch. So close. Just hope I can get it on this round. Now, I mean, bullet hell on one hit from death is possible? You know, this whole game one hit from death is possible. I just don't see myself doing it. Not trying to come down on me. I just don't think I'm, you know, bullet hell flawless material just yet. 17 hegemony credits, that's making it easier and easier to bring that 20 down to the fourth floor for Taylor. And then after that 20, which we are basically guaranteed, if we, you know, the next time we get down there, we will have it. Unless I forget and spend money in the breach, we should have it. And then we'll just need the third floor flawless, and then it's on to the fifth floor elevator, which will require the fourth floor flawless, which will pretty much require just some luck. Um... Yeah, I'll take the easy kill on these guys, if they're giving it to me. Just the shotgun blast into the pit. Um, yeah, just... Oh! I am not sure what was even shooting at me there. I was waiting for the log to kill Pupulon. Did that guy just pop out of the floor? Oh. Well... That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw and want to see more of it, click the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
If you want to watch me live stream, you can catch me at twitch.tv slash bigbadbardmedia, and you can follow me there to get notified anytime I go live. If you want to get notified of videos and live streaming, you can follow me on Twitch, or I'm sorry, on Twitter at bigbadbardmedia. And if you don't want to do any of that and just hang out for the next one, that's fine too. I'll see you then.